Okay, and welcome back to the video of, of the Ferguson Video Star FV22L trying to get it working video. Now, I had a closer look at the power supply earlier today, and that part where the fuse blew connects to one of the wires on this connector here, about the one the third wire along, and of course, that would have to connect to the big circuit board, wouldn't it? It couldn't connect to one of these smaller circuit boards, which would be much more easier to do. No, it has to connect to one of the things on this big circuit board. And that connects to this pin here, or on this connector here. So this thing is the only thing that fuse is protecting, this wire here. And that goes into this voltage regulated chip. And also through these two resistors, which also connect to the voltage regulator chip. So, there's either something that's gone wrong with this chip, and I hope I'm not going to have to try to replace that, because that thing is absolutely huge, and I have absolutely no idea where I'd find a replacement for it. Because if you just look under the circuit board, you might be able to see that chip. It's this thing right here. And there we go, that's an STK5490. It's that one of those great big amplifier chips you see in some hi-fi equipment. So anyway, I'm going to check each of these connections on the chip with the meter and make sure that there are no short circuits. Okay, well I've tested the voltage regulator chips, check that nothing is shorting to the ground. And to do that, all I do is have the meter set onto continuity and then attach one probe to the ground pin on the voltage regulator and then just go through each and every one of these connections. And if I hear a beep, I know there's a short circuit somewhere, and that all seems to be absolutely fine. There's also another voltage regulator here, which I missed, and I've tested that, and that seems to be alright. But the strange thing is, the heat sink doesn't seem to be the ground. That seems that these seem to have a separate ground to, to, to the heat sink, and usually these things, the heat sink is also the ground, but that doesn't seem to be the case in this thing. In fact, the heat sink doesn't seem to be electrically connected to anything. It's got these two screws here, but they are not making contact with anything. There's no circuit path going to the screws, so I'm not quite sure why that is, but can't see any short circuits, so maybe it was just a freak thing that happened. So what I'm going to do is put this back together and plug it in and see if the fuse blows again. Right, well, I've put the power supply back in and I've connected up the connector that connects it to this big circuit board. Now if you remember, I said I tested this, um, the two regulator chips and nothing seems to be shorter to the ground that, should, that shouldn't be. So I'm just going to plug this in with just this board connected up to the power supply and we'll see if anything shorts out. See if that fuse blows. And if it does, then there's a problem. Okay, it's plugged in. Ignore those crackles. The fuse has not blown, so that's a good sign. There's nothing on the display because I haven't connected that bit up yet, but... It did power the circuit board up and the fuse didn't blow, so... That's looking good. Now I'm just going to plug in the other circuit board, which is this one. And that plugs into this bit here. Right, well, let's see what happens now. Oh wow! It lives! Look! The clock is showing! I don't believe this. Okay, I don't know what I did, but it's alive! It's alive! Well, I say it's alive, but I haven't actually tested it with a tape yet, so let's put one in. Okay, that's looking good. Right, well, let's see if anything happens when we press play. It's going, look! Tape's turning. As you can see. So obviously what was wrong with it isn't wrong anymore. Well, let's um, hook this thing up and see what's on the tape. 
But now it's the moment of truth. I've had to move this on my bed because it's the only place where I can get the cables to reach. Got it connected to the TV. The TV is already on the right um, channel or station or whatever you want to call it. Let's turn it on and see if it plays. There we go. That's on. I saw a little blip on the TV screen. Let's see if it plays. Ah, yes, we have something. The tracking's probably off. Uh, let's see if I'll just try to find it. Now, ah, there we go. I don't know what this is, but it's playing. Well, I know I didn't record that. But now, let's do a recording test with this VCR and see how good it sounds. I mean, going back to the tape recorder stuff here, I mean, see how good it looks. I will have to upscale this to high def, but, yeah, whatever. Uh, we're recording, I think. Let's just get this wire out the way. Oh, look. Video feedback. Audio feedback. Let's see. Show my ugly face on the camera. Oh my god. Don't want to see that. Quick view of my new haircut. There we go. Well, the VCR is recording once again. As you can see, the tape is turning, and I'm not using my digital camera for this, no. That's the camera I was using for the earlier part of this video. I'm using my Sony Handycam, which still works all except for the tape part. I've got my big fan still going with the voltage speed control it's doing that thing again would you believe it excuse me while I pause for about 12 hours while I try to figure out how to get this thing to come off right no it's still doing it would you believe it okay if I press menu, no, that's what I pressed before. Stop. In search, exposure. Oh, demo mode, right, let's turn that off. Right. Technology, eh? Like, comptars, you can never trust them. Now, let's see how good long play is. We are now recording in long play. There's no EP on here because this doesn't have it, but it does have short play and long play. I'll clear all this crud off my bed later on. Just look at the state of this. I mean, really? Here's where the VCR was before when I was working on it. So I've had to put my big stereo system down there and this is the tape recorder that was used to record the audio because the audio on this camera absolutely sucks even in long play the audio on this is probably better than what that camera does I wonder if I can switch between long play and short play while recording I've absolutely no idea so I'm gonna try that right now oh yes I can short play long play short play and long play well that's about it so until next time goodbye stop recording music to my ears <laughs>